Welcome back to Marquette Football. It's your host, Instant Fame HD, and this week it is week three, and we do have a bye week, so we will be going over recruiting in this week. I'll be showing you all of the positions, what what their stats are when they're visiting. It's actually during week four because I did want to schedule a few visits, a few more, so I did that. But it is in week four, but it's technically week three. First off, you see a lot of defensive ends on the board, and this is because we do have two seniors on the D-line, one starts and one doesn't, but it's still good to bring in all this talent. And as you can see, our number one, these aren't in order, but our number one recruit is obviously Ricky Weber, 74 overall, we're only 150 points behind, and but we do, do are putting all the points into him. He's 6'2", 223 defensive end run stopper from Michigan, so he's kind of close to us, I guess. Uh, we do do have offered him a scholarship. He really wants playing time, which is why he likes us. But our conference prestige is low. But his proximity home is pretty high, and we but we aren't a pipeline state, which I think I do want to bring Michigan as a pipeline state because a lot of good talent comes from Mich Michigan. Scouting, as you can see, 75. He started off or 74 overall. He started off at a 69. Has some good things. Only 68 speed though, so he definitely is gonna be more of a bull rush. He's not really gonna contain. So I'm. You could put him at defensive tackle and I'm thinking about doing that but we'll see what happens and then as you can see we do have a visit coming he's coming week five Marquette versus San Diego State so we'll see who wins San Diego State's a pretty good team they're very 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 good running back so having three sacks and two tackles for loss we can see if we can do that and if we beat a higher ranked team but winning will be a low priority for us because I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that so that he's definitely our top recruit though so now going up to Ben Ben Perry, another defensive lineman. He's a defensive end, 69 overall, 6'4", 244, a little bit bigger, run stopper. As you can see, he's at, we're, we're his top school by a lot, so I'm not really putting that many points into him. Playing time and campus lifestyle. We do have a nice campus. We're in the middle of the city, a lot of, attracts a lot of recruits. He's a plus five, so he started out at 64, so he wasn't really high on our list, but he is now. And he has 77 hit power for a freshman, or for a high schooler, so that's pretty good. But we ha he hasn't scheduled a visit yet because he hasn't cut down his school, so we'll see next week when that happens if he decides to do that. And then Mike Glover, defensive, or he's actually a guard, <laughs> not a defensive end, finally. We're a little bit ahead of Southern Miss. He is, he is 6'5", 323. He's a balanced uh, run run blocker. He, he's better at pass blocking just by one. His impact blocking is really low, which is one thing that I really don't like, but... He'll probably be redshirt his first year, and then he'll get that up pretty easily. And as you can see, we're a top school by a lot, and he still needs to cut down on schools to make a visit. And then our last defensive end on the list, he actually is considering us over Ball State, in, which is different than Ricky Weber. Uh, we'll see all those things. Scouting, he is. He also is pretty slow. It's kind of a, a like theme. No one has above 71 speed at defensive end, which is slow, but... We'll have to deal with it because he does have some good stats, like 79 block shedding. That's that's very very good. And then as you can see, we're top school by a lot, and we're, he has we haven't been able to schedule a visit yet because we because he hasn't cut down his schools yet. <laughs> now to go offensive linebacker Dennis Keller, 5'11", 227, kind of undersized height wise, but definitely is up there in the weight, playing time and campus lifestyle he likes. Scouting as you can see, I I really like him. I you might not see a lot in him, but I see more. Because I see 70 block shedding, which is pretty good for a linebacker. 76 tackle, only 68 hit power, but that can go up. But I like the athleticism from him. 82 speed, 83 acceleration, and then 74 jumping. 72 agility is kind of low. And then he does have 72 zone coverage and 69 man. That man is pretty high, so by senior year, he'll be a very good player. And he is considering Kansas over us right now, but only by 150 points. And he also is visiting on week 5. Now, if we go to wide receiver Paul Johnson, this is one of the receivers I really, really want, and it's not only for receiving; it's actually mostly for the return game. He is a six-one, one-ninety, good size receiver. He's considering us over South Alabama. Uh, as you can see, most things are playing time and then proximity to home or um, campus lifestyle. That's why they are considering us. Uh, so, as you can see, ninety-five speed, set only seventy-three return, but with that ninety-five speed, you can get that up. Only egg acceleration, so he doesn't really get that burst, but once he's gone, he's gone. Catching really needs improvement. He has really, really good route running, though, but then catching 62, spec catch 69, catch and traffic 69. So that he'll be a more of a working project, but freshman year, he'll definitely be our starting return man if he does come. We are recruiting a punter. He is 
kind of high on our list. I, I, I'm not really sure why. I just kind of put him on the list just because it'd be nice to have... We could redshirt him the first year, and then once our punter graduates the year after that, we could have a pretty nice punter. We're in the lead by a lot over NIU. As you can see, we haven't we haven't fully scouted him yet, but he's 74 overall so far, so he's pretty pretty decent. Now going here, Dante Gudry, 6'5", 296, good size. We're in the lead with him over North Texas. We, he's fully scouted, 65 overall, 70 impact, which I like. Only and good run blocking and pass blocking. It's just his awareness is probably pretty low, which is why he's only a 65. But he's still a pretty good player. We're his top school by 565 points. So hopefully we can get him too. And then here's a defensive tackle. I know I said I was done with defensive linemen, but I do actually have two more defensive tackles. I kind of forgot about that. But as you can see, all the normal stuff. And then he only has 48 speed, but he is a defensive tackle, so we don't really need the speed there. He has really good block shedding. His, his moves aren't very good yet, but that can be polished as he will be coming in young. And we actually do our recruiting fullback because our fullback is horrible. He, this dude is a 69 overall, though. And he has good things, and he's we're up by a lot, so not really putting that many points in him. He's six foot two, forty four, good size. We need to scout him one for one more week, but he is pretty good at blocking. Not really sure what his run back is, but his pass block is pretty good, and he can run the ball if he really has to. Now, going over to Rob Mark, our last defensive tackle, I promise. Six four, two sixty five, decent size, not very that, not too good, but he is from Wisconsin, so we definitely. Uh, his, uh, we're in his like hometown 64 speed pretty nice 78 strength 72 block shedding 70 finesse move more finesse player and then 73 tackle so he's he is gonna be a working project but he is pretty good now going over to wide receiver Kyle Brown 5'10 172 academic prestige very high for him his stats are okay he has pretty good catching but then his spec catching catch traffic are horrible route running is okay and then he has okay agility and speed and stuff or his agility is horrible I'm an acceleration but his agility is pretty bad. He would be more of a working project. Probably get redshirted his first year. Which the, I don't know why the playing time is so high for him. Because I'm not sure if he would really get playing time. Now we have a guard. 62 overall. 6'3 with 301. Nice size. A little short but still nice size. We haven't scouted him fully yet. But he does have decent pass block. But he has pretty pretty good run block. And then impact blocking is a 71. So that's not bad. We'll see what the agility is stamina are. And see what his final overall is. Which will be in the next recruiting video. Here's another defensive end. 5'11", 237. I would probably transform. I might transform him into a uh, defensive tackle too. I'm not really sure. We, we're recruiting a lot of defensive linemen, and I'm sure only two or three of them will come to our school. So I will only accept two or three of them. But I love his hit power. 80 hit power. 64 speed is kind of slow, but block shedding 83. Power moves 77. His finesse move is bad, but he's just a bull rusher, and he will be so good on our defense. Now outside linebacker. Uh, he's 62 overall. He's he's not that 6'4", 229 though. Pretty, very very good size for a outside linebacker. Only 75 seed though, but he has nice tackling. He has pretty good blocking or <laughs> uh, power move and finesse move for a linebacker, so he can get off blocks. His his speed isn't that good, but his acceleration is very well, so he'll just attack people. And I mean he is only a 62 overall, so he'd probably be more of a backup player to start, but still a good player. And he is um, taking our school by a lot. So now going to this guy, we're still we're now we're 1,400 points behind. But I got in his recruiting late. I'm really interested in him. We need another corner. I think he could really be a playmaker. But we we only got him a little bit, and we're trying to get back in. But we probably won't end up getting back in. And Kansas will probably be able to take the lead. We have offered a scholarship though. Another wide receiver, Arthur Dean. He's interested in us. He's 61 overall. As you can see, 88 speed. Catching is pretty good in catching traffic. Spec catch is horrible. And then he's just like an overall decent receiver. Definitely needs a lot of work though. He is 6'1", 193. And we're, he is leading, we're leading him over Iowa State by 270 points. Now another outside linebacker. He is 6'1", 235. Dan Wright. As you can see, we haven't fully scouted him yet. So that's why we don't have that many points in him. But we are his top school right now by a lot. So that's why he is on the list. Now, athlete, Ed Williams, 6'2", 206. I'm not really sure what kind of player. I haven't really looked over his speed too much, or his stats too much, but he does only have 80 speed. But he, if you see some of his stats, like, let's say, zone coverage, 72, man coverage, 67, hit power, 75, tackle, 84. So, I think he could be a pretty good linebacker. I'm not sure inside linebacker, outside linebacker, but I'm pretty sure that's where he'll end up. And then we actually haven't put any points in Marvin Sears yet. But we are still his top school somehow, so I'm not really sure if I am going to recruit him. 
He's only 58 overall, but he would be a good backup player if we did decide to get him. And now on our last three recruits, Eric Jordan, 6, 62 overall, 6'6", 291, 64 over, or 62 overall with a plus four, so he's pretty decent. Speed is slow, but he does have very good pass block. His impact blocking is okay. Run block is horrible. Nothing too good about him. We are 55 points behind, which is why I'm kind of scouting him a lot, but he'd be definitely a bench player when he came in. Now center, Kevin Walt Waters. Uh, he's a Juco transfer, actually. 6'4", 314. He is a bust, but he still is a pretty good player to me. 71 pass block, 70 run block, and 71 impact, which is pretty average st stats. But he is only a 63, but he would be a pretty good role player for us. And we are in the lead by it a lot. And now on our last recruit, Brandon Riggs. We are 250 points behind, so I am only putting 250 points into him. He's not really that big of a player for me. He is a running back. His speed isn't that good. So he, he just He's just an okay running back. I mean, probably wouldn't get much take until junior or senior year. But he's just a good role player. He can play on special teams, things like that. But that is going to end off our early season recruiting. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm sorry I didn't get the player interviews and things like that in the video. I was very strapped on time this weekend, so I wasn't really able to get as much done as I wanted to. I wanted to make this video more just cooler with like little demographics and stuff, but I wasn't able to, so I had to make this video quick because I know you guys wanted to see this. But I will be back, and I will be bringing some cool content for the next one, Recruiting Battle. Once I have some commits, I'll definitely have some interviews. I'll definitely have some player cards, things like that. I'm sorry I didn't bring it to this video, but I just wanted to get this out to you. Not as quick as possible, but I just wanted to get it out to you faster than it would have if I had to wait. Because if I had to wait, it'd probably be up maybe Sunday at the earliest Monday, and I want to be able to upload the first game on Monday. The next, I mean the next game against Western Michigan. That is going to be a very good game. I did already play it. I'm not going to give any spoilers away. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys will tune in for next week. And I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'm putting a lot of effort in this. So I hope you can see that. And if you did stay this part of the video, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I am going to be starting an NBA 2K17 Dynasty or franchise or my GM. Whatever it's called in that game. But I will be starting that. So I hope you guys are super excited for that. And I hope you guys really love this series because I'm not going to stop this series. I want to get at least eight eight seasons done with this team. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you did enjoy and have a great day. Peace!